Seattle, Washington, the great KVI. Go. Hello. Hello. Yes, Phil. Go. Yeah. So uh, a few years back, I was working for a company that, in uh, Michigan, and uh, they were shaking the employees down for uh, for contributions, uh, after-tax contributions, uh, to give to uh, Carl Levin and Debbie Stabenow and, of course, in this state, I'm in Washington State, for, for Norm Dix. And they came out and said that our, that our, uh, our actual uh, performance evaluations and, in fact, our jobs would depend on it. Uh, whoa, 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 now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, Phil. That's a crime. Yeah, it was a 501c3 company. Oh, no, 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 no. If they are tapping you for campaign contributions and, in essence, threatening you with a poor job performance or even a loss of a job, that is a crime. Yeah, well, so these, these, this company was getting, was getting earmarked, you know, contra, uh, 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 contracts from, from Levent. Levin. So, don't, uh, don't, don't confuse him with me. Levin. Levin. Yeah. Yes. Or Levin. Uh, mm-hmm. And, and I'm sorry, I apologize. It's like Wiener Weiner, you know, Wiener Weiner. It's, it's Levin. <laughs> I'm Levin. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so they, they came out and said, I had, you know, we had to do it. And I challenged, it was the president and vice president of this company, and I challenged them and said, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I don't agree no, with I, that. I, I think that uh, if we peel back this onion, with this Carl Levin and some of these others, we're going to find massive abuses of power. Now, this guy now, uh, he will use all the influence he's, he's built up over, what is it, 36 years, 42 years in Washington, D.C., I think it's 36, with the media, with the operatives, with lobbyists to protect himself. And uh, you watch. The uh, big media is going to try and give this guy a pass, try and protect him because he's been a source for all these decades for them. But uh, we need to keep the pressure on. We need it. We need a full-blown criminal investigation now, and at a minimum, a select committee in the House of Representatives, which I've been calling for for I don't know how many years. Thank you for your call, Phil.